Hello. Hello students. So in this topic we will discuss about the sex determination. So what is this sex determination? Okay, what is sex determination? The development of an organism, the development of an organism into male sex and the female sex is called as the sex determination. The development of an organism into male sex and the female sex is called as sex determination. The sex determination is done by the following factors. Okay? Sex determination is done by the following factors, which are those. The first one is the chromosomal. Okay, chromosomal. Second one is the environmental. Environmental factor, chromosomal factor, environmental factor. Third one, it is hormonal, hormonal, and fourth is the metabolism. Fourth is the metabolism, and fifth is the lastly parasites. Parasites. So. These all factors are responsible for the development of the sex in different different organisms. In some of the organisms, chromosomes are playing a role in the development of the sex of an individual. That is called as the chromosomal factor. Some of the organisms develop into male sex and the female sex with the environmental factors. Based on their environment, they either become male or female. Then hormonal. In some of the organisms, hormones are playing an important role in the formation of male sex and the female sex in the organism. Whereas the metabolism is also playing a role in the development of a sex of an individual. Whereas in some of the organisms, parasites, parasites are playing a role in the development of a male and female sex. So we will discuss the first one here. That is sex distribution by chromosomal factor. You already know what is chromosome. I will not go into this detail. So, chromosomes are the vectors of the identity where they are present. They are present in the nucleus. They get easily stained with the spiritual stain. Okay? So, that's what here the chromosomal factors. Now, human sex is determined by the chromosome factors. Is it clear? So, here we know that in a human, there are how many chromosomes? There are 23 pairs of chromosomes. 23 pairs of chromosomes. 23 pairs of chromosomes means we can call it as 22 plus XX or, or 22 plus XY. Is it clear? 22 plus xx or 22 plus xy can also be written as 22a a is it clear plus xx or 22aa plus xy is it clear so what do we mean by this there are 22 autosomes there are 22 Autosomes, is it clear? 22 pairs of autosomes, 22 pairs of autosomes, and one pair of sex chromosomes. Is it clear? So that's what here it is. So what are these? This, these are the autosomes. And these are the sex chromosomes. Sex chromosomes. Is it clear? Homogametic and heterogametic. The two terms are similar. So, what is making of which is this sex? This one, it is 22 pairs of autosomes and one pair of X and X chromosome. One pair of X and X chromosome will make it into female sex okay we will make it what female sex whereas 22 pairs of autosomes 22 pairs
pairs of outer bonds and one pair of X and Y chromosome and one pair of X and Y chromosome will make into male sex. Is it clear? 22 pairs of autosomes means what here? It is 44A plus 44A plus XX or XY. Okay, X, X or X, Y. Now, what is this homogamity? What is identifying this X of an individual? Okay, there is a homogamity. Homogamity and heterogamity. Homogamity and heterogamity. What do you mean by homogamity and heterogamity? Homogamity. If the two sex chromosome, if the two sex chromosomes are similar, that is X and X, if the two sex chromosomes are similar types, then it is X and X that is called as homogamity. If the two sex chromosomes are, if the two sex chromosomes are X and Y. If the two sex chromosomes are X and Y, then we call it as heterogamity. If the two sex chromosomes are similar type, okay, if the two sex chromosomes are similar type, then it is homogamity. If the two sex chromosomes are similar type, then it is called as heterogamity. Now, what is making it male and female? Or who is responsible? Now, this much information we know. Okay. Now we will take the two parents. Now you know what is male and female. If I say, for example, here a male parent, okay, cross with the female parent. Male cross with the female. Male will be having what? 22A A plus. X, Y. Female will be having 22 A, A plus X, X. Is it clear? X and X. Now what will be your gametes? If you make the gametes here, it will become 22 A plus X. Is it clear? Then another one 22 A plus Y. These are the gametes. Is it clear? And here what it should become? It should become 22A plus X. You can write only one, or if you want to write this both, same one. 22A plus X. Means it is same only. Okay? So instead of writing the same, we can take it as only one. Is it clear? You can take one or right. So what we I'll write here only one. The gamut will become 22k plus x. Now what we have to see here? <coughs> In male, two types of gametes are there. In male, two types of gametes are there. That is one gamut is 22a plus x, 22a plus y. Okay, that's what the two types of sperms these are. Okay, two types of sperms. One sperm is having 22A plus X, another type of sperm may be having 22A plus Y. Whereas in case of A, okay, in case of A, there is what? Only one type that is the 22A plus X. 22A plus X. Is it clear? Nothing else in that. So what will happen now? If for example this one this gamut comes and fuses with the egg. Is it clear? Fuses with the egg. Is it clear? This sperm comes and fuses with the egg. What will become? It will become 22A. 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 So 22AA. Is it clear? 22AA plus plus. This x 
and this one x is it clear so what it will be which sex it is female sex is it clear the male sperm containing 22a plus x chromosome fuses with the egg 22a plus x egg will be always having 22a plus x only is it clear it will not be having x only so that would be the 22a plus x the female will be having 22a plus x is it clear so this one will become 22a plus xx okay plus xx now if this sperm comes and fuses with this one okay fuses with this one so what will come 22a plus here 22a plus x y x y now which is this sex this is the female female is it clear and which one is this this is a male is it clear it is a male so during fusion or fertilization if the male have two types of gametes here 22a plus x fuses with this one it will become 22a plus xx female if 22a plus y fuses with 22a plus x it will become 22a plus x y now who is responsible for the determination of sex in a human or in an organism in a human it is the male is responsible okay male is responsible for the formation of female sex or male sex if the male gives his x chromosome to the female it will become female if the male gives y chromosomes to the female it will become male it will become male so this is what the chromosomal theory of sex determination chromosomal theory of sex determination and it was proposed by macchen okay it was proposed by macchen is it clear so what is sex determination the sex determination is the formation of a sex of an individual or the development of a sex of an individual is called as sex determination i told there are different factors responsible for the formation of the sex of an individual is it clear that is the chromosomal factor then the environmental factor hormonal factors metabolism of an organism parasites these all are responsible in different different organisms for the formation of a sex of an individual or the egg one we have discussed it today about the sex determination by the chromosomal factor sex determination by the chromosomal factor chromosomes they are the one in case of the uh, human beings there are 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes the 23 pairs of chromosomes can be written as 22 aa means there are 44 autosomes or 22 pairs of autosomes and one pair of sex chromosome is it clear in case of male it is a 22 aa plus xy whereas in case of female it is 22 aa plus x and x okay x and x now we know that what is homogamic